Hey friends, welcome to the Sunshine Farm. I'm Jen. Today I want to talk to you about how you can get the very best food for you and your family in your backyard. So, yes, I am talking about gardening. And I don't think it should just be put into the category of hobby. I think it should be put in the category of health, of wellness, mental health, so many things, nutrition, all of those things. So today, I'm gonna tell you about why I think that growing your own food in a garden is so beneficial to your health, and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about how it has been so meaningful in my life. And then I wanna close it out and I wanna hear about your experiences with the garden and how it's impacted the way you eat, the way you feel, and the way that you live. As I'm talking, I'm gonna walk you through our food forest because we just finished mulching it. So you'll probably have a better sense of where things are now that you can see uh, where the trees are mulched. So first, let's talk about the impact of gardening on your health. When you're growing food in the garden, the kind of nutrition that you're putting in your body will blow you away. First of all, when you're growing your own food, you care about the type of plants that you grow, the, the way that you grow it, the kind of sprays that you choose not to use. When you plant that seed, that it's going to be feeding your family. And so you care. And I think that's a huge reason why gardening will change your health. I think this also comes into play too when you think about the freshness of the food that you grow in your garden. Eating things fresh is actually really important for the level of nutrients in that food. And when you buy food from the store, it's often been shipped hundreds if not thousands of miles to get to you. So the time between when that was picked and when you're eating it can be pretty significant. Second reason, I think being connected with your food makes you care so much better about eating well. So I might buy tomatoes at the store and I might not be as committed to eating those tomatoes in their natural state. But if I grow tomatoes in my backyard, especially if I grow them from seed and watch them come all the way from a tiny seed to a plant and then to a fruit, you bet I'm gonna care about what that tastes like because I did it. This is where I think connection really pays off because it's really hard to waste the things that we put time and money and energy into ourselves. Another reason gardening is so good for your health, whole foods. Whole foods that are plant-based are the best thing you can feed yourself. There's nothing like feeding your body plant-based whole foods to really see an impact on your immune system, on your weight, on your skin, and on reducing your risk of chronic diseases. When I started eating whole foods that are plant-based, my cholesterol dropped an insane amount of points and it wasn't even high to begin with. I saw a huge change in my immune system. I used to get colds at least two or three times a year, if not every few months. Months. It's been a really dramatic change in my immune system. The reason I bring this up is because whole foods, plant-based, is perfect for the gardener. That just means you get to go in your backyard and you get to eat your lunch just by picking your fruit and vegetables. It gives you more control over your health. I think life can get really out of control sometimes and we don't have control of a lot of things. And so this is one way I love to regain some sense of connection and knowledge of what I'm consuming and what processes were involved in that, in that time between when something was grown and when I'm eating it. They say if you want to have good, healthy food, know your farmer. Uh, what better way to know your farmer than to be your farmer? <laughs> Back there you can see a project that we'll be working on to build a cold frame so that we can grow things like greens in the winter here in upstate New York. Another reason that food in your backyard is the best food that you can eat is it has so many pros economically. I have probably about, gosh, 120 tomato plants and they came from just about four or five different seed packets. So I probably spent maybe $15 on the seeds. Uh, let's say I spent $5 on the seed starting mix that I used to grow them. 
I went and I bought 120 tomato plants. Let's say I spent $3 a plant. That's $360 on tomato plants from the store. Not only that, but if I wanted to buy heirloom tomatoes at the rate that we'd be growing them, I'd be spending over $1,000 on heirloom tomatoes at the store for how many we're growing and all the ways that we're planning on using them. That's huge savings for our family in ways that um, we just wouldn't be able to get that kind of quality produce. And so to be able to grow it ourselves is really wonderful and also saves money and allows us to save for other things like paying off our mortgage. There's another huge benefit that should not be overlooked and that's the ethical impact of growing your own food in your own backyard. I think it's easy to ignore our ethical impact when we live so disconnected from everything we buy. We don't see how the food we buy in the grocery store is grown. We don't see how the clothing we buy at the mall, we don't see how that's made. So it's really easy to be making choices that have a negative impact on the environment, on people, on animals, on the land, on all of those things when we're so disconnected. For example, there are certain crops that have a negative impact on the environment during periods of drought. There are certain foods like, for example, buying palm oil has a negative impact on endangered species like orangutans in rainforests. And it's so easy to just ignore that and to not make changes because it's really, really hard to understand how every single food we buy makes an impact on the world around us and on our bodies. The best way to address this, being connected with your food from the source, growing it yourself. You're decreasing your carbon footprint by eating more vegetables and fruits. You're um, decreasing the impact on the environment through animal agriculture. There's so many ways that growing your own food has a positive impact on the world. And I think the ethical aspect of small backyard gardening and small farming is something huge. You may be thinking, gosh, yes, I agree, gardening's great but I don't have the right space to garden in. I live in an apartment or I'm renting a small townhome and the gardening area I have is really limited. And that's definitely a challenge, but there are so many people who are still renting property to garden. Maybe they're getting involved in a local community garden, they're container gardening on their balcony, they're starting with microgreens in their apartments. There's so many ways to get involved with gardening, even if you don't own the land. I even have a coworker that I've told that if they want to get involved with gardening, they can come here and they can start a little plot here on our property. Don't just discount the possibility of being able to garden and grow your own food if you don't own the land that the garden could be on, because they're really are so many options to consider and community gardening is an awesome way to get involved and to teach people in your community the benefits of gardening. Just a few days ago we traumatically lost one of our hens. One of our first hens um, was killed by a predator pretty much right in front of me and the next day I was feeling so sad, feeling really discouraged and I was really down. And while I don't recommend spending money when you feel sad, not the best coping mechanism, I did go out and I bought some plants to put in our food forest. And do you know what? It made me feel a lot better. It got me really excited about the future instead of dwelling on what had happened and focusing on that event. I became excited about the future of what these plants would produce and provide for Chris and I. So let us run away as fast as we can No looking back, I'll hold your hand Cause we're free To be all that we can be No one's stopping us but we Three or so years ago, I started experiencing a lot of health issues, digestive that affected muscle aches and pains and muscle twitches, caused headaches, anxiety, depression. Basically, my body was just not healthy and my digestion was causing all sorts of issues based on this infection that I had had that started it all. I turned to food to heal my gut and heal my body and I am just amazed at the power of plants and healthy food and whole foods of being able to get our body back on track. It healed me 
over the course of a few years and now I'm really healthier than I, I think I've ever been. It was through that whole experience as well as a friend who encouraged me to start gardening and this program that I worked with that engaged veterans in therapeutic horticulture that really changed my whole perspective and taught me why I needed to be growing my own food and why I should be using this property to do it. And it was through that, that experience that I found something so much greater than just food alone. It's really been been the thing I look forward to all year, the thing I get excited about more than anything, the place I want to spend all my time, the thing I want to tell everyone else about. It's It allows me to have a creative outlet and to constantly be learning, to share knowledge and to challenge myself to try new things, to jump in and be adventurous. Like this, like this weird area over here, that's going to be a hookah culture bed which essentially means we're going to be, obviously it's flooded right now because we've had an insane amount of rain, but we're going to be burying rotted wood in the ground, layering things like sticks and rotting straw, and then we're gonna be adding rich soil compost, planting in it, and then mulching it. And we're gonna be growing food basically on like this little mini hill. And it's such an adventure and it's so cool and I'm really excited about it. I never would have been able to do that if I didn't discover gardening in the first place. Did you know that you can turn dandelion, all parts of it, into food? I saved these flowers just the other day before we mowed the grass, and I'm going to be using them to make dandelion tea. You can also use them to make dandelion salve, which you can use on wounds and cuts to promote healing. You can even take the dandelion root, cut it up, roast it, and use it like coffee bean, which is so fascinating. And the leaves you can eat like a salad. I even sauteed some and put it on homemade pizza just the other day. There's so many things that we learn when we become connected with our food. The best way to do that is right in your own backyard. I've learned things like canning and drying herbs and making tea from dandelion flowers. I've learned how to trellis tomatoes. I've learned how to forage and find food in our own backyard without actually putting any input into it at all. I've learned about how to save seed and start a plant and help it grow and when to harvest and ways to cook things. So many things from the garden and that's my story and I want to hear about yours. How has gardening changed your life? How has it impacted your health? How has this impacted you? I want to hear all about it. Let me know in the comments below. I can't wait to share stories with you guys.